stormed to the number one position in the latest ICC World Test Championship rankings after Australia defeated New Zealand by 172 runs in the first game of the two-match test series between the two teams. This defeat meant that New Zealand now have two losses and three wins in five games, securing 36 points. But before confusing you with more of these numbers, let me quickly take you to the point system for the WTC rankings. So if a team wins a test match, they are awarded a total of 12 points. Six points are awarded for a tie and four points for a draw. The teams are then ranked according to the percentage of points won. There's also a cash to the system where points are deducted for slow over rates. However, moving on, currently India is relaxing at the top spot after taking a comprehensive lead of 3-1 in the ongoing test series against England. The two-time finalists, India, replaced the Kiwis with a stronger points percentage. In the ongoing WTC cycle, India has won five test matches, lost two and drawn one in the eight matches they played and secured 62 points. Ahead of the start of the Wellington test, New Zealand was sitting atop the WTC table as they had lost only one match out of the four they played. Now let's take a look at the other variables. So if India manages to win the Dharamshala test, it will continue to remain at the top of the WTC points table. However, if England manages to get the victory in their favour and New Zealand bounces back in their second test in Christchurch to beat Australia, India will slip from their top position. Even if the Dharamshala test against England ends in a draw and New Zealand wins, India will lose their top position in the WTC standings. However, if Australia goes on to win the Christchurch test and India also wins the Dharamshala test, then India will remain at the top of the points table. But if India loses the Dharamshala test, it will impact India's points percentage. Assuming that Australia draws the Christchurch test and gets four points, they will still not be able to cross India. Despite Australia having 78 points currently, their points percentage falls short of India and New Zealand because Australia has won seven of the 11 test matches they played, lost three and drawn one. However, they lost 10 points for slow over rate. So if Australia is to move to the top of the points table, they must win the Christchurch test and hope that India loses in Dharamshala. 